Hello everybody, welcome to Coding Club. Today we're going to be talking about HTML basics in HTML5. Um, this is episode one. The first thing you will need to do is download a text editor for writing HTML code. Um, you can go to the sublimetext.com. That's the text editor I'm going to use. I feel like it's in-depth, but also great for beginners to use. So once you get Sublime Text downloaded, um, you can open up a new file. Um, but what we're going to want to do is create our own file. So I'm going to go new. I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to say my first web page. Okay, and then I'm going to go in there into that folder. And I'm going to have a new text document. I'm actually going to rename this uh, my first web page and convert this to an HTML document. HTML. And it will ask if you change a file name extension, the file might become unusable. Um, are you sure you want to change it? Yes. And this will convert it to uh, your default browser and mine's uh, Google Chrome. And so if I pop it up now, the um, this is kind of what the browser would look like if I were to host this onto a website, but right now it's just local to this computer. So, now you can go back into Sublime and open a file, and I can open up my first web page, my first web page, and then now I have my first web page.html up. And I can just type in HTML, tab, What's great is now we have a header, a body, and then a start tag HTML and a close tag HTML. So uh, we have quite a bit set up for us here, Sublime. So I'm going to title it my first web page and then control S uh, is to save it. So make sure you save it, control S. Then you can go back and if you refresh this page, notice my first web page with an exclamation point comes up instead of my first web page dot html and so that's that's the first just proof that you have changed something uh in your code uh now the next thing you can do is in the body so everything that happens in the head area is happening to the header so if i did my first web page then control s save it Refresh, now the title, the header up here, uh, and the tab changes. Okay, so we want to get out of that tab spot. We want to actually go into the real body of it. So you can push tab to get to the right spot here. Notice that once you go inside of the header, you want to tab over uh, for readability's sake. And once you go into the body, you want to tab over. Um, H1 tab, and here is the first header. Uh, and the first header is the biggest header format. Okay, and then you can do H4, how about? Um, medium size header. Then H6, our smallest header. Okay, and then you can do Control S, take a look at those. My first web page, the biggest header format, medium size header, our smallest header. So now you've seen the different header size. You can actually break these up a little bit more. And you can do um, a paragraph. And when you're doing a paragraph, Sublime Text allows you to type in lorem and then do control space. And it'll type in a, a little fake paragraph for testing purposes. So I'll type in P. And lorem again, control space, yes. Um, and if you want to have a little bit of, let's do control S and take a look at it. Okay, now you can see these paragraphs are on the screen, easy enough to see. Um, I'm going to put a little line break here, so I'm going to do BR. That will just give me a little bit of extra space. And I'm going to do make an image, and I'm going to go to my images folder. Um, profile pick jpeg and once you've typed this image into your 
code you need to put this into the folder. So I have profile pic.jpg and I need to put it into my first web page. And I need to put it into the images folder that I said it would be at. And so you need to create an images folder and not drag your my first web page in there, but drag your picture in there. And then now if you do control S and refresh, there's that mean mug. Okay, but who is that person? Well, let's go ahead and practice our heading. Page two. That's me. All right. So go ahead and try to do that with yourself and get your own picture in there. Um, good little practice for you. Next, we're going to create something called a form. And a form is something that allows you to type things in. So on your form, you're going to put action equals process.php, uh, meaning that the information for this form is going to go somewhere on the PHP file. And then you're going to put method equals post. Then while you are inside of the form, so your form, you really should have pushed, I should have pushed enter and then gone back into it. Um, between the two form tags, you need to create a label tag. And this label tag will be what your uh, user reads when they're entering. So first name could be something that they're entering. Uh, last name. And if you want these in different boxes, you're going to need to separate them out. Email. So after you write the label, you're going to need to describe what your input is supposed to be. So, so your input type is going to be text because that's what we're putting in there. And what is it? Well, you can put it in first name. And then for your last name, actually, I'm going to do camel case. First name. Last name, you just type input tag tab to open up the input tag. And once again, that will be text and that will be last name. But email will be input and that will actually be email. Uh, email address. address. Okay, Let's control S, save that. And then if we reload, we have our first name last name and email. But if I did that with no at, um, by putting it as an email, you can write a little bit of code to make sure that that checks out to be an actual email address. So the last thing we're going to do is create a table. And to do that, you do that, create a table. So then you're going to create your table header. So you do T head. And this I want to be put on, um, I want to have multiple sections for my different headers. And so I'm going to have three rows um, and it's going to be TR for table rows. So then I'm going to type in TH and that will get this tables rows headers. So then I'm going to put name for one of them. This will be my second row header uh, age. Next one and email once again. Okay. And so, um, that can just be information. Uh, these are headers. And so then you can make your next T row, um, TB, which stands for table data. And I could be Tanger Crow TV 27 years old. TD Crow 12 at gmail.com. Yada, yada, yada. So control S. Let's see what this looks like. Here I am. I have my bold name, age, and email for my header. 
and the data Tanner Crow, 27 years old, my email. Okay. And now we have set up a very basic first website. Um, and by no means are we done yet. I just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown of uh, some of the basics. So I hope you guys join me next time. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you thought this video was helpful and click the bell so you don't miss the next episode.